Wow, that felt good. That had the, that, that, had, that was solid. If you always dreamed of having a badass looking truck but never knew where to start and had worries of spending your hard earned money in the wrong places, then this video is for you. I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube, and today I'm gonna show you just how simple it is to completely transform the look of your entire truck without any serious modifications. So <clears throat> no cutting, no drilling, no body work. I mean, hell, you don't even need to get your truck on a lift to completely transform how it looks. So let's dive into this. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make and a mistake that I've made myself plenty of times is going out and spending, you know, $100 here, $100 there, another 50 over here, and then a $200 tint job and $300 on a head unit, then another 200 bucks on some LEDs, maybe a couple hundred on some spacers. And well, before you know it, you got over a thousand bucks wrapped up in your truck, but you're still rolling around on stock wheels and tires. And for the most part, well, it's just gonna look like a stock truck. So this gets even worse when you start buying uh, more expensive things like, like headlights and taillights, you know, at a couple hundred bucks a pop uh, on the cheap side, and then upwards of a thousand or more for the top of the line stuff. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, all that stuff does in fact improve the look of your truck, but I wouldn't expect to be getting any double takes as you fly by the quick trip. KT girl takes on Wisconsin, like. So I've found that uh, the pieces of a build that really have the biggest impact on appearance are hands down the wheels and the tires. And I don't just say that because we're custom offsets and that's where you can get wheels and tires. If you don't want to spring for lift kit just yet, or you don't want to worry about paying a shop to install one or whatever it is, it's super simple to order your package from our website uh, over at customoffsets.com. And then we'll get it shipped right to you so you can bolt them on literally right in your driveway without needing any serious modification to your truck and I think sometimes people downplay like the the 18 by 9 or 20 by 9 wheel setups you know because they fall in the shadows of the 14 wides and the 16 wides but the reality is not every single person out there feels like daily driving a lifted truck with massively wide wheels and just because you want something on the aggressive side of poke doesn't mean you have to have a 12 inch wide wheel Nine wides still offer offsets that will uh, push them out much further than your factory wheels too. And I think that's something that a lot of newcomers to the truck scene might not uh, initially realize. Offset is just a measurement, it's a number. So you don't go out and buy offset wheels because uh, all wheels, even stock ones, have a very specific offset and the lower the number, the more it's going to push your wheels out uh, and you're gonna get the look that you want. Now, a stock wheel, depending on the truck, uh, is anywhere from positive like 35 offset all the way up to positive 50. And then when you start looking at some of these 20 by nine wheels, you're gonna see a lot of them listed as zero offset. But remember what I said before, Offset is just a measurement and the lower you go, the more aggressive it is. So a zero offset wheel compared to a 50 offset wheel ends up sticking out almost two inches further, uh, which on most trucks, uh, after you throw a tire on there, it's gonna be either flush or just outside of your fender well. So the lowest offset I typically see in a nine wide is like a negative 12 or so. Zero is definitely the most, uh, most common. And then there's a handful of positive one or plus one or plus 12. Uh, and positive 18 options for that closer to factory stance. I mean, you can literally take a crappy looking bone stock base model work truck, throw on some nine wides and, and you'll just be amazed at how much better it looks. And that's exactly what I did on my old 2500. I only used uh, that truck really to haul like my boat around and it didn't get much love, but because it was a 2500 and I wasn't afraid to do a little trimming, I slapped on a set of uh, nine wide zero offset Anthem Intimidators with 33 inch tires and it went from looking like an $800 beater truck to a, probably like a $4,000 truck for a lot less than $3,200. Um, like damn near half the cost of that. Of course, it's pre-COVID prices because I have very little faith you could buy a 2004 GMC 2500 for $800 now, but uh, still just a solid example of what wheels and tires can do to a truck. And there are pictures all over the gallery on our website uh, that can prove this to you. Like, uh, you can't tell me that this red AT4 on 20 by nine hostiles looks bad. You just can't. I mean, you can try, but I'm not gonna listen. And it's not just full-size trucks. Even, even on smaller trucks like the, the Tacoma, you can always fit a bigger tire than what's on there from factory. And a set of 18 by nine grenades with that negative 12 offset that I talked about before, give this thing a real sharp look, and you can still fit almost 32 inch tall tires. 
Right now we've got solid inventory on pretty much uh, everything from Anthem, so all of those have the option for the quick shipping to get them in under seven days, but we always offer free shipping too on top of the free mounting and free balancing, um, so we can get these things shipped right to you. So when the FedEx dude drops these things off in your driveway, you can literally bolt them on uh, and go. So if you've got a jack uh, and a couple of stands and a torque wrench or a buddy with any of that stuff, you're all set. So you text your friend, let them know you're gonna to need to borrow some tools and I'll be waiting over at customoffsets.com so I can help you figure out what set of wheels to put on your build. Peace.